Well, today's vibe is very casual because I'm actually feeling pretty under the weather as you can hear in my voice. I haven't talked like all day, so <laughs> whoa, okay. I feel like I sound worse than I feel, but regardless, I'm here because I wanted to share with you guys my favorites from June. So I actually traveled quite a bit, so I tried a lot of new products, but I feel like I only got to use them once or twice. So a lot of the new things that I'm really enjoying right now or I'm excited about aren't gonna be in this video just because I didn't feel like I got enough time with them. Since I was traveling quite a bit, my vibe was very much this, like very effortless, and I packed a lot of skincare with me. So this month's favorites is actually mostly skincare, which is kind of fun, I guess. So the first thing I wanted to share, I don't know if I've talked about this on my channel, it could technically be an honorable mention, but I don't think I have. I. Maybe I have. If I have talked about it, it's been a while. So the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Foaming Oil Cleanser was my number one cleanser this month. This was the only thing that I brought with me when I was traveling. And I find that this takes off all of my makeup. It has such a gorgeous texture because it has a little bit of that oil base, but it's actually really creamy at the same time. It's just so good. And I love Skin Fix's products. Their um, face cream is one of the best face creams I've ever tried in my life because it focuses on repairing the barrier of your skin. So my skin loves everything that I've tried from Skin Fix so far. And I've actually been using this for a really long time. It's almost gone at this point. I love how hydrating it is. It's just, it's so good. So I wanted to share this with you guys because it was definitely a hero product of mine when it came to skincare. And it's so nice to have a product that kind of does it all in one. Because normally I do like a double cleanse. That's what I like to do at home. But when I travel, I try to cut down my skincare routine and simplify it just so I'm not carrying around too much. So yeah, I love this so much. Guys, I'm so sorry. I feel like my voice is sounding really wrecked. <laughs> like I'm trying my best. I'm kind of whispering a little bit because I feel like I strained my voice. I also went to a concert, so it's like a combo of things right now, but. Anyway, another product that, this one is an honorable mention because I have talked about it in a favorites video before, but I started using this religiously again this month and oh my goodness, my skin loves this. So this is the Holy Frog Sunnyside Sea Glow Serum. I love the texture of this. I love how it sinks into my skin. I love how my skin looks after I use this for multiple days in a row, especially. It really helps make my skin look very even toned and bright, which is what vitamin C is supposed to do. And I feel like I've tried so many vitamin C serums, a lot of which do work for me, but this one really is something special. I absolutely adore it. I love this so much. You guys know I love Holy Frog products. Like they're one of the best skincare brands out there in my opinion. I actually do have a code for their website if you wanna try anything out. I think it's just Allie. I'll have it linked down below or listed down below and you get 20% off of their website. So if you wanna try the vitamin C serum, I highly recommend it. And don't forget to use my code if you wanna save a bit of money. Love this stuff. Okay, this next product is my favorite skincare discovery, I think. Yes, I would have to say it is. I fell head over heels in love with this product. I've been using it every single day since I tried it. This is brand new from Summer Fridays. This is their Shade Drops Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Mineral Milk Sunscreen. This sunscreen is so good. I love mineral sunscreens. They just feel better on my skin. I love that they work with my sensitive skin. I love that it calms my skin because of the zinc in there. It's just the best of all worlds. And this one has a really special texture. It's so lightweight. I'll show you what it's tinted to. It's like, well, it's not super tinted, but it's not a stark white sunscreen, which happens with a lot of mineral sunscreen. And you can see how it just blends right into my skin. It feels almost cooling on the skin as well. And what I love about Summer Friday's products is I feel like they formulate them really well to work underneath makeup. So I find that this works extremely well under makeup, which is why I've been wearing it every single day, but it also looks great, you know, as my last step in my skincare routine. And sometimes I'll go all day without wearing a drop of makeup and I just love how this sits on the skin. It makes my skin look so healthy. And of course you get that sun protection as well. It's incredible. It's one of the best mineral sunscreens I've ever tried and I've tried a lot. So that's really saying something. I'm thrilled about this product. Okay, I was debating whether or not I should put this next product in this video because it's only been like a week and a half, maybe two weeks. 
I don't remember, but I bought this really recently and just barely received it in the mail and I've been trying it every single day, but I already feel like I have an opinion on it. So this is actually from Road Skincare. It's the Peptide Lip Treatment and this is the unscented one. So I actually did pick up all three. I bought the watermelon one, the salted caramel, and this one. And I really do enjoy all three, but it's funny, I find myself reaching for the unscented one more than the scented ones, which is kind of interesting. I thought I would be the opposite. This really hydrates my lips. And you guys, I am so picky with lip products. Here in Utah, my lips dry out so quickly. And a lot of times I feel like if I apply something that's supposed to be super hydrating on the lips, a lot of times it does the opposite. And because there's no moisture in the air here, I feel like sometimes it takes the moisture out of my lips. <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain, but it happens with a lot of lip masks actually. But I have put this to the test here in Utah and this is working for me. Like I really do feel like I wake up and it feels like the product really sinks into my lips. It really works. I love the texture, I love the shine. This is what I'm wearing all over the lips. I did apply a little bit of a blush color from this little Makeup Forever palette that I just bought. It was actually my first time trying it today. So I have that on and then I just threw this right on top. And I just love how healthy it makes my lips look and feel. It really works. And I've been trying out the serum and the lotion, but I felt like it was too soon to like give you guys my opinion on the skincare products, but I've been using them every single night since receiving them. So I will update you guys on how I feel about the other road products once I get like, you know, a month or so of use out of them, then I'll hopefully have a better idea. So far I'm really enjoying them, but I can't give you my full opinion until I give it a, at least a month, you know? But I already feel like I know my opinion on this because I wear it multiple times during the day and it's been my nighttime treatment as well. And I wake up noticing a huge difference with my lips. So I really do love this so far. It's so good. So like I said, even though I tried a lot of new makeup this month and a lot of it was really, really good, in my day-to-day -day life this month, it was truly just like an effortless makeup vibe on a daily basis. And so I started reaching for some of my favorite tinted moisturizers. So this is also an honorable mention, but I wanted to throw it in here. The Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Moisturizer. I love this and I've been wearing it basically all month since it's been hot outside and I've been traveling, like I said. I really just wanted something to tint the skin a little bit, but something that I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, rubbing off throughout the day or looking funny because it feels so lightweight on the skin and it kind of has more of a skincare feel to it. But this gives me like the perfect amount of coverage. I really love it. So I wanted to throw this in here, but I also kind of rekindled my love for this product, which I feel like I tried for several days in a row and then I just like went back to my NARS foundation for a while and then I took this with me on a trip and I wore it every day and oh my gosh, I love this. It's the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer and I wear mine in the shade 14W. This is what I have all over the skin right now. I feel like it just makes my skin look like my skin but better. It balances the skin somehow so it doesn't make my skin look super oily throughout the day, but it leaves a gorgeous glow. Hopefully you can kind of tell. It stays like this on me all day long. It doesn't look expired by the end of the day. I really, really love this. So I wanted to give this a little shout out as well because I feel like it's perfect for summertime and just great for every day. I feel like this has a little less coverage than the Tower 28 and it has a little bit more of a dewy finish than this one, but I've been using both and loving both. But I was specifically surprised by this one this month and I'm really excited to keep wearing it throughout the rest of the summer. Okay, last but not least, I wanted to give another shout out to the Jaclyn Cosmetics lip oils. They actually just launched, or I guess I should say relaunched these and now they're part of the permanent collection, which I'm so excited about because they're perfect for summer. I can't stop wearing the shade Rose Drip. I'm obsessed with this, but I also, I still have the PR package right here, so I will show you really quick. I tried all of these on in a recent video, so if you wanna see how all these look on me, I will have that video down below, but they are so, pretty and the formula is phenomenal. So I wanted to put those in my favorites again because I'm obsessed with them all over again. And I feel like they're just perfect for summer and so foolproof, so comfortable. Like I can't say enough good things about this formula. I highly recommend you go try it out. I really feel like you can't go wrong with any shade. So just try whatever speaks to you, whatever inspires you and just get a feel for the formula. And I promise you like, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's just, so good. Okay, so I feel like that was such a short but sweet, very skincare focused June favorites, but you know, that's where I'm at right now. I will of course continue to try some of the things that 
I was really enjoying this month, such as the Anastasia palette. Like I literally only dipped in this two times so far, not because I didn't want to dip into it, I just didn't have the chance. So there's things like this or like the Jaclyn bronzers and a lot of other things that I tried that I'm dying to keep using, but just it wasn't enough for this month for me to put it in this favorites video. But I was so confident about like these skincare products. Truly incredible, amazing. 10 out of 10, the tinted moisturizers, 10 out of 10. So I'm very happy with the products that I did choose for my favorites and I hope you guys enjoyed hearing what I enjoyed this month. As always, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you've been enjoying this month, whether it's skincare or makeup or hair care, I wanna hear from you, so be sure to leave a comment down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. Huge thanks to anybody who's still watching and thank you for enduring my voice today. <laughs> I wasn't expecting for it to be so rough sounding, but it is what it is. So hopefully by my next video, it won't be sounding like this, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless and I will see you all in my next video. Love you, bye.